Hi, this is Yvonne with Central Kentucky Television, and I'm here with Cabrina Buckman, who is with the Washington County Extension Office, and we're going to be making ice cream today. Yes. Everybody's <laughs> favorite ice cream. <laughs> who doesn't like ice cream? Who doesn't? It'd be un-American not to like ice cream. <laughs> But you've got a special way of making ice cream. Yes. And, uh, you know, I always like recipes where kids can be involved. Me too. And this is one of those recipes where they can definitely make it over and over and over again if yes. they want to. Yes. <laughs> Every meal can be ice cream. It can be a little bit of entertainment in the summertime. It will help for parents. Yes. So we're going to be making ice cream in a bag. And I'm going to show you our finished product since it will probably melt a little bit as we stand out in the beautiful sunshine. But this is our finished product and I just topped it with a few blueberries. So you can taste that if you want to. And then I'll show you how to make it also. Um, so you have the recipe, you're holding it down for us from the wind, but you will basically need a quart and a gallon size freezer bag. And I say freezer bag because you want these to be nice and thick, good um, quality, because you don't want this to spill everywhere <laughs> or the ice to escape. Let me read off the um uh, read it off right here with all of our ingredients so that uh, if you want to grab a pencil paper to write this down you can it's one half cup of milk one teaspoon of sugar one half teaspoon of vanilla extract additional flavors if desired one teaspoon flavored syrup cocoa powder mint or other extracts or soft fruit also need one quart freezer bag one gallon freezer bag ice enough to fill the one gallon bag half full uh, six tablespoons of rock salt and a towel or gloves if desired. Yes. And we're going to place all of those ingredients in a bag and seal it. That's right. So first we have our milk mm -hmm. and as you can see we have a lot of different milk options there. So I just did the whole milk and this will make a creamier product but if you are concerned about calories or health then you can do a lower fat a 2% or 1% or skim. We also have half and half, that would be even creamier. That's kind of a mixture of milk and cream. Or if you wanted to add flavoring to it and you have chocolate milk at home, you can do that. Or you can throw in a little bit of cocoa powder. Ooh, that sounds good. Yes, <laughs> so that covers our milk component. Next we'll do our sugar. And that is just one tablespoon of just plain sugar. So you can give your kids a little bit of measuring practice mm -hmm. in the kitchen with this recipe. Okay, so that finishes that. And that makes it easy. Yes. Next we'll do our vanilla extract and I'm just doing kind of the basic recipe here. And we have other um, extracts as examples that you could add if you would like. I have almond extract, strawberry, and here's a mint, um, peppermint. So you can add whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just going to do the vanilla here. And I don't know if you have another free hand, if you can hold that bag for me. So kids sometimes find it a little bit difficult to pour these really small measurements because this is just a half a teaspoon. Um, so make sure that they're holding it over top of the bowl or the bag in case they spill and pour a little bit more than you need. And like we all say, kids love helping out in the kitchen, so always be sure to ask the kids if they want to help. Or they do. Motivate. So we have our milk, our sugar, and our vanilla extract, and then now would be the time. If you wanted to add other flavorings to it, you could do so. But that's our basic recipe here for our ice cream ingredients. So we want to seal that up, if you want to do that. Seal that really well. And I will start adding our other components here. So we have a gallon size bag and it's filled about halfway up with ice. And this is while we're outside because this will drip a little bit and be, get, be a little messy. So to this, we're going to add six tablespoons of rock salt. And this is really where the science comes in. If you wanna kind of incorporate some education into um, this activity for your kids. This rock salt, let me make sure I'm counting correctly there. There's four, five, and one more. This rock salt um, has really large grains of salt, as you can see here. So that's why it works better than more like a table salt that you might use. Or you could use a kosher salt, also has large grains. 
but this rock salt is kind of made specifically for doing this ice cream. It says ice cream salt on the box. <laughs> um, so it's very easy to Yes. So the rock salt is added so that it drops the temperature inside the bag because, um, you know, we add salt on the roads during oh, winter. Oops, dropped my mixture. Oh, that's okay. That's why we're outside. Mm -hmm. um, we add salt on the roads in the winter and that decreases the freezing point of ice so that when the temperatures drop even below the freezing point of 32 degrees, it will still melt and not get the roads icy. So what it does here is drops our, our temperature inside the bag so that this ice cream ingredient, which is now very liquidy, will become a little more solid when we place this inside. So we want to seal this up really tight because now we have this salt inside this icy mixture and we're placing this inside here. So if you don't seal this, you could get some yeah. salty ice cream. Yes. So you're going to just place it inside and you can kind of bury it down in the ice and get it really um, deep in there. You're going to seal this bag well as well. And then you are simply going to shake it around like that yeah. for five to ten minutes, maybe even longer if you want a really solid consistency. So um, you can let your kids wear gloves or they can put a towel over top because this is very cold to hold. So that's pretty much the basic um, way to make ice cream in a bag. Okay. And you know if you, got, you have several kids, they can take turns shaking this. So yes, they can throw it back and busy. forth, <laughs> right, to seal those bags really well. <laughs> Everybody's busy with ice cream. Yes. That's right. And then like oh, our, uh, we showed our... Our product, which our the product sun has hit a little bit, yes, but if we it. had inside, we yeah. would just throw that back in the freezer. It would solidify, we'd be fine. That looks wonderful. We've got blueberries on there now. We're going to use strawberries or yes. any other fruit. Top it with season. anything you'd like. Yes, indeed. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming out today and talking to us about ice cream and uh, letting some of those people out there know uh, what they can do with the kids, one of the projects they can do with their kids. I'm going to give this recipe one more time. One half cup milk, one tablespoon of sugar, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and any additional flavors you want to add to it. And you'll also need a one quart freezer bag, one gallon freezer bag, and ice enough to fill the bag halfway up, and then six tablespoons of rock salt. And you can go from there, and the kids will, they might let you help them. Yes, um, if you have any questions, they can always call me. We're at 859-336-7741. Okay. And this has been Yvonne McNary. I'm here with Sabrina Buckman from the Washington County Extension Office. Thank you so much. Thank you.